Hello, my name is John Stones, Managing Director of Gas Safe Europe. We've been in carbon monoxide detection for nearly 20 years and proud to be multi-award winning innovators within our industry. Seal alarms save lives. So if you've got one fitted, well done, you're halfway there. Every carbon monoxide alarm has a sensor which has a limited life. And this life can be shortened even more by pollutants found in a typical home such as cigarette smoke and cooking fumes. These pollutants can block the filter, which is an integral part of the sensor within the alarm. The other problem we have is that the test button only tests the battery, circuit and buzzer. It doesn't test the sensor's ability to sense gas. But the problem is, when you press the test button, even if the sensor isn't working, it may still appear to be working perfectly. This is a typical carbon monoxide alarm. It comprises of a battery, circuit board, the sensor and the 85 decibel sounder. This is the test button and when you press the test button it emits one alarm and that indicates that the alarm is working perfectly. This is the all-important sensor which has a limited and undeterminable life. The gas enters the sensor by means of this small hole. Underneath the hole, there is a carbon filter, which is designed to stop dust and debris entering the sensor and stop the performance of the alarm. If this sensor becomes blocked, which I can do by covering it with my finger, and we then press the test button, the test button is still indicating that the alarm is fully functional. But clearly, with my finger covering the hole, there is no gas entering the sensor and it's therefore not capable of, of sensing CO. Pressing the test button is no indication of whether a carbon monoxide alarm is still sensing gas or not. This is why we developed detector gas in order to overcome this problem. Unlike a smoke alarm which goes off when you burn your toast on a Sunday morning, you cannot safely produce sufficient carbon monoxide in the home to test whether your CO alarm is working properly or not. For this reason, we de developed detector gas in the mid-90s, originally to provide a means of testing CO alarms that we'd supply to our customers. Detector gas was fully patented as it was a new idea and 20 years on, as more CO alarm manufacturers have entered the market, the problem hasn't gone away, it's actually got bigger. There are around 23 million carbon monoxide alarms installed in the UK and 210 million in the USA. Independent tests in both territories have confirmed that around half of the alarms installed are no longer sensing gas and failing unsafe. These are a number of awards that have been granted to us by industry experts over the past 10 years.